No, I was just looking at the clock because it was late in the game. I think it was uh, one minute and 40 some seconds left. So I was seeing how much time was on the clock before I took the shot. And I saw it was four seconds, so I just I took the shot. Good guy from Augusta. How, how far was George on your radar growing up? Were you a fan? Did they recruit you at all? Uh, I mean, they recruited me, recruit me a little bit, but um, I mean, I'm, I, I really wasn't really a huge, like one team kind of guy. I just like basketball overall in general. That's all. Also, the first time you came in the game, I think you were in about 12 seconds, got yanked right back out. What was Frank telling you right there? Uh, Stop messing up, pretty much. I think I made it. I can't remember exactly what I did. Oh, I didn't pass it to Chris one time. Uh, I saw something different, and I you know, uh, did something wrong. And he, I came out, listened to what he had to say, and he put me right back in. So I mean, that's just how it goes. The three you hit after they tied it at 49 with about a little over three minutes to go, I mean, that just kind of saved your bacon there and put the momentum back your way. Could you, could you feel it at that point that maybe you guys were going to hold on? Yeah, uh, we, came, we ran a play that we you know, run thousands of times, came off, signed, passed me the ball. Um, it was a great pass, and I just do what I do. I just hit a shot, and uh, it helped us, helped us win the game. How was, it, how was the confidence to, to make those kind of shots? Because you guys, only, those, those, the two threes you hit in the final three minutes were two of six shots you guys hit all second <laughs> yeah. half. Uh, what's that like for a shooter out there to try to get the confidence to put those back up? Uh, you just got to have shooter's amnesia. You don't think about the last shots that you missed. Uh, you just you know, focus on the, the next shot that's coming up, and uh, you shoot the ball like you always shoot it. How are you adjusting to your role now as kind of the sixth man as you and Evan kind of switch spots? Uh, I mean, I, I don't think it's a big deal. Um, Evan's a great player coming from football. He brings that physical nature. It really helps us out, um, especially on the boards. And uh, I try to help him out with some of the plays because he's, he's brand new to everything. And, uh, you know, I just I, I enjoy it. I enjoy watching him play. It really is, I, the, the, the role really doesn't mean anything to me because we're, we're all playing the same amount of time and things like that. So it really doesn't matter. Can you pick something up as, as a six man? I mean, can you, like, see the game differently? Oh, yeah, no. Definitely. You can, you're you watching the floor. You're seeing how the flow goes, what, what you can and can't do, um, what the team is doing. And um, it, it's good. So, I mean, there's no really problem with, you know, coming off the bench. Chris, once again, it seems to be the simple form that when you stay on the floor, this team's going to benefit from it. Just uh, looked like you were more aggressive today but not getting the foul calls. Was it as simple as that? Uh, <clears throat> I mean, we're in the road, so we don't, we, we're not going to get those foul scores. So, I mean, coach told me to, to be strong, go up, and try to make the shot. And that's what I try to do. Is it just a case of jumping straight up or keeping your arms contained? How do you not get a foul when you're still trying to be aggressive at the rim? I mean, I still got finished. Uh, uh, I mean, on the road, <clears throat> it's a hard game. They ain't going to let me just go up and just shoot a hook shot or whatever. They got. They, they got play defense and make it hard for me to score. So that's what it did. So much do you kind of take pride in some of the games when the opposing player, you know, Mayton is a, probably seen as kind of the prototypical top post player in the league. Do you kind of take, go into this game with a little more to it um, in that matchup? I mean, I, I stick to my team principles. You know, uh, we got to do what we do best and uh, play hard. You know, uh, I mean, knowing that uh, that's Mayton, He's a really good player. Give you kind of the, the, the one to play, like the one to compete, challenge. Yeah, that's, that's all. You guys have been going at it for three years. What just what's the key to playing against a player like that on both ends of the court? Uh, you, you know, he makes everything happen for his team. So you got you got to keep an eye on him on everything, offense and defense. So uh, I mean, the offense is try to limit his uh, right hand drive and on defense keep a. Nine on him for him to get his second shot or like go to the office and rebound. Four assists today. Did you know you had that? I mean, no. Nah, when I'm in the game, I, I coach said I just my, my my head is just all over, all over the place. So I, I was just playing. I, you, I, was, I wasn't paying attention. Were you seeing the floor a little bit? I mean, you did find you found Mike there right at the beginning for him cutting baseline. Did you see things maybe a little more clear today on the offense? Uh, yeah. I mean, uh. Every time I play and I don't do stuff right, I go to coach and we try to watch film. And I, I, I realize, uh, I mean, I get double locked. So uh, he, he told me to just catch the ball, be patient, see the floor, and uh, things are just going to happen. And I mean, that's what I, I try to do today. And Mike happened to cut. I saw him when the double came, and it was an easy basket. Is this kind of a kind of win that you really enjoy in that you guys didn't shoot it well at all, but you beat them on the boards. Uh, you had fewer turnovers. Um, Hit free throws down the stretch. Played good. Kept their played good defense. Kept their shooting percentage down. Was this the kind of game that you, in particular, one of these kind of scrappy kind of wins? Uh, that's the, I mean, to me, I call it South Carolina basketball. You know, uh, we we not shooting well, but we rely on our defense. 
uh, being aggressive, be one in the court, and like help each other all the time. And at the office event, we just got to execute what coach asking, ask us to execute, and the shot will come up. For both of you guys, uh, the classes restart on Tuesday, the same night you host Kentucky. How great would it be to have CLA jump in and have all the kids come out? Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. We can't wait for that. You know, we gonna. This is gonna be, this is gonna be jumping exciting, exciting environment. I mean, yeah. I mean, I'm excited to you know get back to classes and um, <laughs> get some schoolwork in, and uh, no, nah, it's gonna be fun uh, having everybody there and the uh, support and the energy that they're gonna bring to the to the um, to the arena, and uh, it's gonna be really fun. Considering what's coming up with <clears throat> uh, Kentucky, Tennessee, Florida, all ahead, getting this win on the road, how how big was that? It's huge. It gives us a little momentum, you know, into the next game, uh, going into practice, knowing that, you know, we're finally on the right track and uh, we're just going to build from there. One more, guys. One more. One more on that three. At 49 all, you guys came down and you hit that shot so quickly. Do you think that had a deflating effect on what momentum they had at that point? Yeah, I mean, they had some momentum. They, they tied the game back up, had their crowd into it, and uh, that three kind of, you know, took the – deflated their, their crowd and, uh, you know, helped us – get a little more energy and a little momentum on defense.